What's the worst case of rich kid syndrome you've ever seen? I deliver pizza in a very rich area. I'm talking seeing Rolls Royces and Supercars on a daily basis kind of rich. My manager told me a story of someone that used to work there. This guy would deliver pizzas in a brand new BMW M3 and just put absolutely no effort into his job. Delivering pizza isn't hard. Apparently this guy only had a job because his parents wouldn't pay his allowance if he didn't work. How much was his allowance? $5,000 a month. This guy was making $60,000 a year to deliver pizza part time. That's actually super common with wealthy families. An acquaintance of mine has the same deal with his parents. Work 40 hours a week and get dollar sign 100,000 a year allowance plus the dollar sign 15,000 a month mortgage paid for. Friend in college literally went to the local Gomez stop at midnight every Tuesday. He'd buy every new release for every console. We went over to his house one time that year and he had about 60-ish games that were unopened. One time, we were walking around campus and he stopped by the ATM. He got his receipt and called his dad. Turns out his dad was worried his funds were running low so he sent him $25k just to make sure he wasn't going to starve. That was close. I only had 20 pounds of caviar left. A kid that used to work for me came into work super pee off one day. I asked him what was wrong. To which he replied my freaking maid didn't make my bed again, but my dad still won't fire her. Group of rich high school kids in Montana out driving around, drinking, found two combines, large farm tractor thingies, worth about $250k each, out in a wheat field, decided to have a demolition derby, got caught, in the judges chambers, with the farmer, who just wanted the damages reimbursed, the high end family lawyers asked what the heck they were thinking when they did it, the response, well, you can't put a price on a good time. Turns out that was the wrong answer. I need the ending to this. Two girls, both nice and fairly level headed but also just raised too dang rich. One would take a taxi everywhere in town. It was a very safe, small college town with free campus buses and she'd taxi across campus. She lived two blocks away from me and would take a taxi from her dorm to my house. Google Maps says it's a full 4 minute walk. She swore she just had a terrible sense of direction and couldn't figure out where we lived, but you'd think after the first embarrassingly short taxi ride she'd throw our address into Google Maps and just walk. The other would regularly complain about people not knowing how to manage their money. It took a while to figure out but eventually it clicked that she meant very poor people didn't know how to invest their money in stocks and bonds. Then one day we were having a conversation where she revealed she didn't think a house in Detroit in 2010 could possibly cost under $1 million. I told her I grew up in a nice $180k house and she thought I was dumb or lying. Shattered her world when I showed her my home on Zillow. When she graduated college she complained about how much stuff cost all the time. It was nice seeing her learn the value of a dollar finally. I have a kid in my MBA cohort that outsources his homework and projects to India. He bitched and moaned when one of our professors gave him a C when he only showed up to two classes after he, dad, donated $10,000 to school. Overall nice guy but doesn't really have a clue. Comma outsources his homework and projects to India. He is just practicing for when he goes into the corporate world. A kid who would dramatically throw down his smartphone on the ground in mock frustration. Broken phones were replaced with few to no questions. I did that, but with an old flip phone so it didn't break. Got a few laughs when the battery flew out, and more when I put it back in and it still worked. I chucked it halfway across a football field once, and that thing stayed intact. Back in high school we were doing one of those icebreakers where we passed a beach ball around and whoever caught it had to answer the question their thumb landed on. Well, this kid who has proclaimed being rich numerous times before talking about his parents owning a known pizza place and how he drives an expensive sports car caught the ball and his question was if you won a million dollars what would you do with? It his response was somewhere along the lines of a million dollars wouldn't make any difference in my life. Thanks a lot. Brad, you ruined the game. Kid in my high school crashed 6 cars within a year, and they weren't like 1990s Toyotas and Hondas most high schoolers buy, themselves. These were brand new Subaru Stees, a BRZ, a BMW, brand new Jeep, crap like that. The last car his dad bought him was a semi-new Ford Focus, a decent car, 
better than my 1997 white Camry. Every day he complained and threw a fit his dad would not buy him another $30k plus car. Sounds like his dad needs to buy him a driving tutor. My boss bought her kids a $2 million house to live in while they went to college. My boss also paid for their college. So of course they move out of the $2 million house 5 months later because they want to be independent. Oh yay. And expect mommy and daddy to pay for their rent, utilities, college, cars, vacations to see friends in different states, etc. I would just stay in the $2 million house. Maybe start a crayfish farm in the backyard to help pay for the house. Crayfish racers will pay a lot of money for a fast crowded. Went to college with a totally chill dude who was apparently rich as frick. He was on our college golf team and enjoyed destroying a club if he hit a bad shot. He wasn't even angry. It was just like a reflex to go Bo Jackson over his knee or whatever. I asked him how he keeps playing and he basically said that at the end of every round he just bought new clubs for the next round. He showed me in the trunk of his car how he had like 5 boxes of irons and always took the plastic off a new driver for every round I saw him play. And he played every day at least 18 if not 36 holes. He said it wasn't even a rounding error in his dad's credit card. Jesus. I play golf. And my golf clubs are really nice and custom fit to me. But that's because my dad is a PGA member and could get the wholesale price. I can't imagine getting them replaced every day without hurting. Or even replacing them every year like some do. I once had a mom ask if I could open up the back of our ambulance so her kid could see what was inside since he wanted to be a firefighter. I'm a medic, not a firefighter. I agree as long as he doesn't touch anything. Of course, the second the doors open the kid hops in and goes straight for our expensive monitor. I tell him no, that's it's dangerous and could break. To which he starts screaming I don't care. My mom will buy it and the mom says it's fine. Just let him play with it. If it breaks I'll replace it. I had to physically pick him up and carry him out of the ambulance since she didn't even try to control him. While this is happening we get paid out for a call and this bee suggests that she could pay double our hourly wage if we stay for a few more minutes so her little crap could explore destroy more of our equipment frick out of here with that crap. Lady, you're willing to delay an ambulance so you won't have to deal with precious little Joey's tantrum? Unbelievable. That's a winner right there. Ignore your call. It's probably just a poor person anyway. He was 25 years old when I knew him. His father owned oil fields. He had a credit card that he used for anything and everything. That they paid the balance on every month. He never even kept track of what was charged on it. Just bought whatever caught his fancy. He openly and shamelessly admitted that he had offered his college professor money to give him a passing grade. One day he was cranky about something and said. I wish my parents would just die, so I could have their money. Why should I have to wait? Sounds like his parents should find out how he really feels and be left with one dollar in the will. My roommate refused to go with his family for spring break since there wasn't a flight with first class seats and only business class was available. He ended up taking a connecting flight that did have first class available while the rest of his family just took business on the direct flight. You gotta be comfortable you know. Business class. The new cattle class. I dunno about rich but just spoiled. My cousin insisted on a $15,000 wedding ring and $30,000 wedding. She and the groom made $20-25k a year combined. Her dad paid for everything. They divorced within 6 months. She wanted a wedding, not a marriage. The dude who relentlessly bullied me in school was also the son of one of the richest people in the city. One day a teacher caught him with his hands around my throat and I was pinned against a wall. We were both taken to the teacher's meeting room where it was explained to me that we should try and get along and that we should apologize to each other. Did I mention his dad also built the flashy new cafeteria for the school that year? He was caught on numerous occasions with me in some state of distress and every time they found ways to make it both our problem. His dad pumped a lot of money into that school. He also flew his friends on his private airline to Manchester United Games so nobody stood up for me because they could lose their privileges. My saving grace was a lot of his mates in early years of secondary school turned on him in the later years because he was such an butthole. But man, I'm clearly not entirely over it. 
wouldn't exactly call it rich kid syndrome, but it took me a while to get used to my GF's lifestyle. I grew up in a very working class family with both my parents working full time just for us to stay afloat. Went round my GF's house and saw a lady making food in the kitchen. You must be Mrs. Surname. Trying to be really polite and introduce myself to her family. That was actually their maid. Awkward. Luckily they're all really down to earth and stuff cause turns out her parents were basically homeless and living out of a storage space when they were my age. But her parents started up a little business that actually became successful enough to support them. And then just kept growing. Figures. People who come from humble beginnings often turn out to become decent people when, and if, they do get rich. I went to middle elementary school with some very wealthy people. Typically I was oblivious enough to not really realize it, but two instances come to mind. In 5th grade we did some an exchange trip type of thing with some kids in Canada. On the flight over there one of my classmates said wow, this is crazy, I've only ever flown first class before. Later, in 8th grade I was at that same kid's house, an absolute mansion on top of a hill with the long landscaped entrance drive, marble floored entrance hall with stairs winding up either side, etc, and he and a girl, who had been dropped off in her dad's new Ferrari, started having a discussion comparing the merits of their relative and home movie theaters, like, not just a living room with a cool AV setup, but full on movie theaters with rows of seats that could seat about 50 people, my family wasn't poor, but that was when I realized we weren't rich either. One of the kids in my grade brought bags of cocaine to senior prom. Not only did his parents let him go, but the police did too. Now I believe he's in an engineering program at Yale. Good luck with that. Money won't save you from thermals and fluids. A very distant relative of ours, Egg, some weird branch off the family tree, offered her son a bribe of an entire apartment building if he finished his undergraduate accounting degree. I just went, Hussa you get an immediate investment after graduating and you can rent out the place for mega dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign. My so has rich aunt and uncle with an only child. When he graduated college his gift was a complex that brings in enough money that this kid could retire on it. If you ask him he's self made though. Know a girl who comes from a multimillion dollar family. She made several blog posts about how she and her so were broke. Spent the year living really lavishly, and that they were going to end up on the street BC there was no place to live available in their price range and she genuinely wanted to kill herself. Turns out what she meant is that there wasn't anywhere available above the normal rent rate. Ended up in a top floor penthouse. Guess daddy came through, neither of them work. Attended an international high school in Ho Chi Minh City, where a lot of new wave millionaires kids live. The school was ridiculous. A third of the kids were expats, perfectly lovely kids, a third were local Vietnamese kids whose parents were working their asses off to send them to a private school, and the other third were these millionaire kids. They wouldn't ever hesitate to show off their mummy and daddy's wealth. They'd pull up to school in Lamborghinis, Ferraris etc, etc. And if their Rolls Royce didn't come on time to pick them up after school it would be a straight phone call to their other driver to come pick me up right now. They'd be such dongs 24 stroke 7 to the non-rich locals, classes ass kids, and constantly just bringing up the most trivial things and complaining about them. I'm literally not exaggerating here when I say this. For example, my maid bought me the wrong LV bag. I told her it was the tan brown one not the light brown one. Ugh I can't believe it, now we have to send her on the jet to Shanghai to get it. They all paid and used family connections to get into Harvard, Stanford, UPenn etc, etc, and even now constantly complain on Facebook and Instagram about how crap their residence hall food was so they just hired some freaking personal chef or something. Mind you, these kids were the dumbest bunch I've ever seen. One of them literally was clueless about the most basic facts but still got into business management. Despised a lot of them. Glad I'm in Europe. Far away from most of them. Brought my college roommate to my mom's house for Thanksgiving because he lived in a different state and I only lived 15 minutes from campus. I gave him a quick tour of the house and he was astonished by how clean it all was. My mom's a neat freak and keeps a very clean house. He then said to my mom wow you guys must have a really good maid service I've never seen my mom laugh that hard before. 
You have been visited by the rare garlic doggo. If you subscribe to up dude reddit you will have good luck for 69 years. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.